Hello viewers, welcome back. We're now into the final section of the course, Activating Patterns. Here we'll be building one of the main sections of our app, an ingredient selection menu which will involve a scrollable list of fillings that can be selected, expanded and dismissed. In this section we'll be learning to apply a collapsing toolbar, Data Factory. Then we'll proceed to position the layout and use the factory with Recycler View. Moving further, we'll be adding dividers and configuring the action buttons. Next, we'll create and customize dialogues. And finally, we'll be constructing layout builders. Now, we'll move on to the first video of this section, Collapsing Toolbars. In this video, we'll be applying Root Layout, Collapsing Toolbar Layout, Recycler View, and finally, we'll be adding floating action buttons. Toolbars that slide out of the way conveniently are a common feature of material design UIs and provide an elegant and clever way to make good use of the limited space available on phones and even laptops. As you would imagine, the collapsing toolbar layout is part of the design support library. It's intended as a child of the app bar layout, which is a linear layout designed specifically for material design features. Collapsing toolbars help manage space elegantly and also provide a good opportunity to display attractive graphics and help promote our product. They take little time to implement and are easily adapted. The best way to see how they work is to build one. Let's get started. First, we need to start a new project. Here, we've already created a project named Sandwich Maker. We need to include the Recycler view and the design support libraries. Go to styles.xml and remove the action bar by changing the theme like this. Now open the activity underscore main XML file and apply the root layout. Inside this, add this app bar layout. The app bar layout is generally used as a container for collapsing toolbars. The use of Android layout underscore height equals wrap underscore content will produce different effects, depending on the height of the image its image view contains. This is done so that when we design alternative layouts for different screen sizes and densities, we can simply scale this image accordingly. This method kills two birds with one stone. Next, we should place this collapsing toolbar layout inside the app bar. The other interesting point about the collapsing toolbar layout is the way we can control how it scrolls. And as you would imagine, this is dealt with by the layout underscore scroll flags attribute. Here we've used scroll, exit until collapsed, enter always collapsed. This means that the toolbar never disappears from the top of the screen and that the toolbar does not expand until the list can be scrolled no further down. This scroll here is used to enable scrolling. Exit until collapsed prevents the toolbar from disappearing when scrolling up. Enter always toolbar expands whenever the list scrolls down. Enter always collapsed toolbar only expands from the top of the list. The contents of the collapsing toolbar are these two views. The image view within the collapsing toolbar is almost identical to any other image view we might have seen, apart from maybe the layout underscore collapse mode attribute. Now, below the app bar layout, add this recycler view. This attribute is all we have to add to any view or view group that sits below the app bar to allow the two to coordinate their scrolling behavior. These simple classes save us a great deal of work when it comes to implementing material design and leaves us to concentrate on providing functionality. Finally, add this floating action button. When we run our project, we get this output. It looks nice. It is possible and often desirable to set the status bar to translucent so that our app bar image can be seen behind it. This is achieved by adding these two items to the styles.xml files. Although we're using a recycler view here, it's quite possible to put any number of views and view groups below the app bar. Providing that they possess this line attribute, they will move in concord with the bar. There is only one layout that particularly suits this purpose, and that is the nested scroll view. That's all in this video. In this video, we applied the collapsing toolbar. That was great.